So this is our fourth video from our order to cash series. Till now we have completed uh, how to create the sales order, what are the master data involved and the business process. So if you have not checked those, so it is there in the i button, you can follow that playlist. So what is outbound delivery? So as we have completed our sales order, now we will deliver the goods to customer. So we need to deliver the goods to customer location so that we can raise the invoice. So before invoice, this outbound delivery or the delivery document need to be processed. So if the product is available with us, let's say sales order created, next product is available. That means we have enough stock to deliver the goods. So if the product is available, so next step would be your deliver the goods to the customer. So this is uh, in different system, we can do in different way. In SAP system, we are going to process this one by using the transaction code VL01N. And this delivery document contains all the information about the product, the delivery details and any other relevant information. You will say that these informations already we have uh, maintained in our sales order creation. Agreed. So the same sales order we are going to convert into delivery document. So once again, we are not going to feed all the information. You will find that it's a couple of seconds activity uh, to create one outbound delivery document when we are going to convert our existing sales order into outbound delivery. So your delivery document refers that all the details like what we are going to sell, that means finished stock, whether it is partial delivery or complete delivery, then where we are going to deliver. So that means ship to party informations, right? So how it will end uh, reach with the end customer or the customer and with reference to that, what are the accounting is involved that also we are going to do. All the logistic people, they will not post any accounting entry, but as a as an uh, best ERP or SAP ERP. So here you will find a lot of integration integrated documents so particularly you will find here the documents uh, related to uh, with reference to this outbound delivery you will get the accounting document so here you can see the accounting document involves the debit entry and credit entry so credit entry of course the finished stock and the debit entry is the cost because sales revenue we are going to realize when we are going to sell the product so but in this case for our internal cost and profitability calculation point of view we are going to capture the cost so you can see this accounting document will be generated with reference to the outbound the delivery sales order so let's go to sap system and we are going to proceed with outbound delivery so transaction code vl01n now here uh, i need to execution point of view shipping point of view we need to add the shipping point so everywhere for your demonstration i am using the z100 and with reference to the previous sales order what i created so i'm going to continue this. so last sales order i created 58 and with reference to this sales order if you want to quickly if you are just right uh, watching this video then you need to uh, check the previous three videos just for your reference quickly let me show you that so this is the sales order i created and all the information related to the sales order customer all the information is there so it's showing that shipping date is 25th october so we are ready with the delivery if the stock will be there then of course we can deliver the product but let me quickly check whether stock is there or not so that also i can check yes seven items are there so we can deliver one item from this stock so now we can proceed with outbound delivery so i just entered the shipping point and the sales order automatically the next uh, user will not do anything so the same order will be converted into sales order and that also we are going to check in uh, fury as well enter now the goods issue date that is your plan date and your actual date i have taken the same date then go to the picking tab and in the picking tab you need to enter the storage location it was not entered earlier now item we are going to deliver so one item we are going to deliver and this is post goods issue okay so pgi also known as your pgi post goods issue right so i can see here uh, two documents you can see one is your uh, that starting with eight which is my delivery note and second one one mm document material document is generated because two activities simultaneously done here one delivery note is prepared and second one is related to our mm now this thing i want to check in my uh, fury whether it as it is hybrid system so those informations also we can check in fury so let me check these informations i will simply select the sales order number 50 and and with reference to sales order i i want to see what are the activities are happening here
So this is the application we will use for our analysis purpose. Click here. Now here, uh, what type of document uh, we are going to check? So I have the sales order, sales order number 58. And with reference to the sales document, I want to see the other documents. So I just entered here sales document 58 and click on go. Now the upper segment is your logistic part. So that means first we have created one sales order. With reference to sales order in the previous video, we have seen that there was no accounting document. Then we proceed with the delivery document, outbound delivery. And it was like, if you recall, it was starting with eight. Then next we proceed with the goods issue. So goods issue document is started with 49. Now with reference to the goods issue, the accounting document generated, of course, we will analyze that document. So what is the accounting one, the accounting document. So here, as we are going to deliver the goods to customer so cost uh, inventory should be evaluated at cost price so accounting point of view will try to understand so the accounting document it's a reduction of your inventory so that means your fg stock is going to if stock is going to increase then it will be debit if stock is going to decrease then it will be your credit so fg stock is going to debit and this is our balance sheet item and what is going to be debit cost because we are evaluating our inventory and we are capturing the cost so that is why here we are going to take the cost of goods sold cogs cox it is known as cox in business language so cogs account debit so what is the price if exactly i don't remember it is something three double six some uh, uh, point something then the debit amount also same so you will find one accounting document now this value where we are going to take of course accounting point of view this fi document is generated the document number 49020 that also we will see and this one we are going to transfer to our copa again this is one advanced scenario for the costing people so the costing team going to take this price for the cost and revenue because the next activity we are going to realize the revenue so that is why the cost we need to compare so that we, they will see that in from this deal what is the net revenue or the, what is the net profit so for that purpose this value will be transferred to the profitability report in copa report so we will see very soon okay so this is my analysis in fury and uh, same is there in the on-premises so i got here two documents three documents in fact so one is your outbound delivery one is your goods issue and the accounting document and the accounting document is here you can see the accounting document document type with the WL goods delivery so that means simultaneously I'm also getting the update in fury 2 now let me show you this same thing in on-premises first let's see the accounting document here I just process it so I want to see the accounting document what I, I was showing in fury exactly same thing in my on-premises also so whatever the system you have you can check it if you are working on on-premises you can check it here if you are working on fury then you can uh, check the fury as well so we have created one sales order then we proceed with outbound delivery then there is a goods issue pgi and uh, this is my goods document goods issue now with reference to this is our uh, uh, goods issue now with reference to this i want to see the documents and here i am going to see the FI document, the finance document. So this is my MM document. So starting with 49, it is exactly same information we are referring. So this, this one uh, in Fury and this one in on-premises. Now I want to see the accounting document. So here the document, accounting document is readily available 49020. Now let's check it. If you click here, you will get the FI document. Let's click it here and we got it here. Okay, so what is the document here? Now it is a different concept. So here I have uh, like uh, goods in transit. So directly we are not going to transfer our cost. So instead of like we are assuming the stock is there in the transit. So what I was explaining that is also correct. This is also correct. So this is a different scenario. Don't get confused. So FG stock is credited here. That is credit. And in this case, I am assuming that the like as customer not received the goods so in that case i can't capture the cost so that cost we will capture in billing this is one scenario that is another scenario so that is also both are okay so as per the business scenario accordingly we need to configure so in this case let me explain that too so in this case we are going to credit the inventory there is no confusion but we are not going to transfer to copa immediately 
because customer not yet received the goods so as customer not yet received the goods it is there in the transit means in it is there in our position so that is why we are not capturing the cost so once customer is going to receive the goods and that time we are going to realize the revenue as well as we are going to re realize the cost also so that is why here i have used the temporary account that is your goods in transit but if let's say uh, we are going to capture the cost with reference to uh, that time right so if you want to see this one like, you check the previous video i will add that in the i button you can refer that one so i already have one scenario on this this one so fg but it is again not for the user so user point of view it will be as per the configuration whatever uh, business configured accordingly we'll get the document input for you important is the outbound delivery need to be created and the respective accounting document should be there so this one may be a cogs or it may be a fg stock right uh, maybe a, a goods in transit in this scenario it is goods in transit somewhere also you will find that it is goods delivery let me show you in a different company code exactly you will find a document number with wl so what is the document type here wl so you will find wl let me show you a different document in a different company code so where you will find a wl document with cogs so let me take here a different one so that you will not confuse so it is a different scenario and this one is a different scenario so my previous example you will find with this uh, let me take the document number here suppose let's say now you can see here in this case there is no goods in transit so here we are capturing directly the cost so with reference to sales order outbound delivery generate processed here also you will find that original document is my delivery document uh, that is my outbound delivery before that one sales order is also there and we are going to capture the cost so this will be transferred to copa so this one is also correct this one is also correct so as per the business need we can configure and accordingly we can present our data to the management fine so this is my accounting document and right now there is no update in the copa so in this document we have processed one outbound delivery and uh, with reference to outbound delivery I got here the accounting document so last time what was the inventory if you re remember so inventory status was seven so before outbound delivery we have stock seven now if we will check the inventory then stocks must be reduced with one item now let's check it so it must be six six so you can check the initial part of the video you will find that before outbound delivery I checked the stock it was seven so now as one item delivered so it is updated uh, in inventory so everywhere this is the beauty of ERP so you will do one thing other things are going to be updated so in our next video we will process this outbound delivery into billing document then that time we will see the cost revenue analysis plus the accounting document so here also we got the accounting document too that means integration is working perfectly thank you